Today we had an extremely deep mantle earthquake, 4.2 magnitude at a depth of 291 kilometers deep. And we're going to see the cross section of the earth. That is in the middle basically of the mantle. Well, the top of the mantle, but that's not good. As you can see here, the cross is from zero to 100 kilometers. And then you have the lithosphere and you have the, the, so it's the mantle. Right under that is the mantle. And that's where we have it. The mantle reaches up to 2,800 kilometers. But basically, it's about uh, a fifth or sixth of the down, uh, distance down into the depths of the mantle. As you can understand, this here, the red part here, is um, this is the mantle plume under Yellowstone. And you can see uh, 500 kilometers down. Uh, half of that is about 300 kilometers. That's where we are in a similar depth in the Mariana Islands uh, of the Pacific Ocean, the Ring of Fire. Now, it may, it's not a big quake, 4.2, but still the very worrying part of it is that it's so deep down. It's in an area that we had recent earthquakes, especially the Kamchatka earthquake that was 7.8, and it has jolted a lot of the areas there. The Kamchatka Peninsula, as we know, is a peninsula of at least uh, 20 volcanoes and some of them are active there are code four out of five there in that they are erupting but um, the nearby earthquake we had in yona kuni japan 5.3 today as well and that was uh, 35 kilometers depth but going to the 4.2 of the Northern Mariana Islands. The tectonic summary. The Philippine Sea Plate is bordered by the larger Pacific and Eurasian plates and the smaller Sunda Plate. And the Philippine Sea Plate is unusual in that it borders nearly all zones of plate convergence. The plate, the Pacific Plate subducting into the mantle south of Japan beneath the Isu Bonin Mariana Island arcs, which extend more than 3,000 kilometers along the eastern margin of the Philippine Sea Plate. This is the subduction zone, characterized by very rapid plate convergence and high-level seismicity extending to depths over 600 kilometers. And the quake we had today was half of that distance down the depth. In spite of the extensive zone of plate convergence, the plate interface has been associated with few greater than 8 magnitude megathrust earthquakes. This low seismic energy release is thought to result from weak coupling along the plate surface. These conversion plate margins are also associated with unusual zones of back arc extension that decouple the volcanic island arcs from the remainder of the Philippine Sea Plate. South of the Mariana Arc, the Pacific Plate is subducting under the Yap Islands along the Yap Trench, the long zone of Pacific Plate subduction, and the eastern margin of the Philippine Sea Plate, responsible for generation of the deep Izu Bonin, Mariana, and Yap Trenches, as well as chains of islands and volcanoes there, typical of the circum-Pacific Island Arcs. And also the northwestern margin of the Philippine Sea Plate, subducting beneath the Eurasia Plate, along a conversion zone that's around the area of uh, Taiwan and uh, Ryukyu Islands and uh, Japan. The Ryukyu subduction zone associated with a smaller zone of back arc extension or the Okinawa trough in Japan. Along the western margin, the Philippine Sea Plate associated with a zone of oblique convergence with the Sunda Plate, this highly active convergent plate boundary extending along both sides of the Philippine Islands, from Luzon in the north to Celebes Islands in the south. This tectonic setting of the Philippine is unusual in several respects. It's characterized by opposite-facing subduction systems in the east and west sides. The archipelago is cut by a major transform fault. The Philippine Fault and the arc complex itself is marked by active volcanism, faulting, and high seismic activity. Subduction of the Philippine Sea Plates occurred in the eastern margin of the archipelago along the Philippine Trench and its northern extension, the East Luzon Trough. 
that trough is thought to be an unusual example of subduction zone in the process of formation as the Philippine trench system gradually extends northward. At its northern and southern terminations, subduction at the Man Manila Trench is interrupted by arc continental collision between the northern Philippine arc and the Eurasian continental margin at Taiwan. The Philippine Fault, which extends over 1,200 kilometers within the Philippine arc, is seismically active, and the fault has been associated with major historic earthquakes, including the destructive 7.6 magnitude Luzon earthquake of 1990, and a number of other active intra-arc fault systems are associated with high seismic activity, including the Cotabato Fault and the Verde Passage in uh, 2007, according to Galana and uh, colleagues. Several relevant tectonic elements, plate boundaries and active volcanoes provide a context for the seismicity present in the main map, and the plate boundaries are most accurate along the axis of trenches and more diffuse or speculative in the South China Sea and Lesser Sunda Islands. Seismic activity along the boundaries of this Philippine Sea Plate produced seven great over magnitude eight earthquakes, 250 large magnitude seven events. Among the most destructive events were the 1923 Kanto, the 1948 Fukui, and the 1995 Kobe, Japan earthquakes the 1935 and 1999 Chi-Chi-Taiwan quakes, and the 1976 magnitude 7.6 Moro Gulf, and the 1990 magnitude 7.6 Luzon Philippines earthquake. There have also been a number of tsunami generating events in the region, including the Moro Gulf earthquake, whose tsunami resulted in uh, losses. Now, the concerning the layers of the earth, we have the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. And to make things simple, the layers of the earth, the crust is from 5 to 70 kilometers thick. Others say it's at 100 kilometers thick, but that's okay. The mantle is two, from, two, after that is the mantle at 2,900 kilometers thick. Others say it's 2,800, okay. The outer core of the earth is 2,200 kilometers thick. And the inner core is 1,230 to 1,530 kilometers thick. So that's what's 100, that's 3,000, 5,200, 6,000, about 6,700 kilometers is the radius of our Earth. Now the Earth's crust is what we walk on every day, the thin relatively outermost layer wrapping around the Earth, ranging in temperatures from 500 to, 500 to 1,000 degrees Celsius. The crust is split into two types, the continental crust and the oceanic. Earth's crust is 5 to 70 kilometers thick. The crust makes up the land on Earth, which is thicker, less dense, and mostly made up of rock granite. The oceanic crust makes up most of the ocean, which is thinner. It's 5 to 7 kilometers. It's denser and mostly made up of or salt rock. The crust makes up only 1% of the volume of our Earth. And then the mantle is just below the crust. The mantle is semi-liquid, sort of like a malleable plastic, like a plastiline, and maybe uh, softer. It makes up 84% of the Earth's volume. And that's where we had our earthquake today, the um, 291 kilometers down. It's in the mantle. The Earth's mantle is 2,900 kilometers thick and is broken down to three main zones, the lithosphere, the asthenosphere, and the methosphere, mesosphere. The lithosphere is a bit confusing since it makes up both the lower part of the crust and the upper part of the mantle. It's about 100 kilometers thick and consists of 15 major tectonic plates on Earth. So our quake here, the uh, 4.2, at the uh, Northern Mariana Islands, which was 291 kilometers, is um, past the crust, and it's past the lithosphere, okay? Because the crust is 70, lithosphere is 100, so it's past the lithosphere. It's in the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is where the mantle turns much more fluid and flows, allowing the above-lying tectonic plates to drift across our Earth. 
the deepest part of the mantle is the mesosphere where temperatures and pressures get so high that the rock becomes more rigid and does not flow as easily. So our quake that we had today was definitely in the asthenosphere part of the uh, mantle. Very unusual to have a quake this deep, but we have seen quakes deeper than that when we had the uh, quakes over Indonesia. Uh, the big quakes, uh, let me go back, maybe they, they unpinned them off. Okay, no, they, they took them off. Okay, that now is here. The 5.3 magnitude that we had in um, around Tonga. The Fiji Island 5.3 that we had on March 23rd. And let me just show you a map of that. It's here, this is what we had about a week ago. The 5.3 at uh, four, about 500 kilometers depth, which is way into the ascendosphere. And this is what we had today, right here, the one that's uh, 291 kilometers depth of the Northern Mariana Islands. So these are a couple of very deep mantle, flu, mantle uh, earthquakes, which is very strange because they don't usually happen that far down. But something is going on down there. Uh, this is, of course, the Ring of Fire. Volcanic areas, Ring of Fire. All of this. And this is where we had the uh, Kamchatka quake a few days ago. The 7.8 that came out of nowhere. 7.5, okay. That was not that deep. It was in the crust. It was uh, in the uh, lithosphere. It was, uh, no, it's in the crust. The crust is 70 kilometers down. Crust, deep crust. So, this is what's going on here today. Very deep earthquakes lately in this part of the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.